If 2014 is your year for finding the perfect mate, My Cat Won't Bark, a relationship epiphany, may be the perfect guide. Joining us now with more is author and president and CEO of Conation Enterprises, Kevin Darnay. Welcome to Community Connection. Thank you, Cindy. Love the title of the book, My Cat Won't Bark. It, tell us how that title came about. Well, the book is about learning to approach relationships, having realistic expectations, and using self-empowerment techniques. And essentially, a cat is not supposed to bark, and it's unlikely that your mate is going to change. So you want to find somebody according to what you're looking for. So at what point do you read this book? Do you read it before a relationship, at the beginning of a relationship, in the middle, when you're considering ending a relationship? What kind of guide is it? It's a little bit of all of those, but primarily it's ideal for somebody who's considering entering relationships. Maybe you just ended one and you want to learn more about what mistakes you might have made and how did you choose that person and, and move forward from there. What's the most common relationship mistake, Kevin? The most common mistake is not knowing what you want. I, in fact, I always say know yourself, love yourself, and trust yourself. And a lot of times in our society, we're geared towards believing that falling in love is supposed to be magical. Uh, one thing leads to another. It's more of a happenstance type of thing. And what I'm trying to get the reader to do is determine what it is that they want before they get out there and start meeting people, and then they can identify, does this person have the traits that I'm looking for or not? So it's more, not only a relationship guide, but also a, a journey of self-discovery. Absolutely, it's definitely about introspective thinking prior to entering the relationship. How did you become a relationship expert? Well, I, initially I started out writing uh, articles for Yahoo Shine, and also wrote some blogs for uh, Hub Pages, and now I'm a Chicago dating advice examiner. And people would write to me from time to time and ask me, uh, would I write a book? Or I think I should write a book. And so after much consideration, I came up with an ideal. And that's how I wrote the book. And since then, I started doing a little uh, dating coach advice as well. And so how do you become qualified to be a, a dating coach or, or someone who is qualified to give that advice? Well, I think what happens is you get more and more experience interacting with people. Uh, in my particular case, the book is a lot of trial and error experience. <laughs> and I include uh, various times that I've made mistakes and what I've learned from those. And just overall, uh, speaking with people about dating and relationships, I'm also a uh, continuing education instructor for District 211 where I teach how to find and choose your ideal mate how to avoid the catfish for online dating as well. So my guess would be, and maybe I'm wrong here, that this book will probably be read by more women than men. Absolutely. When I was doing research, I found that 75% of all relationship books are purchased by women. And are they read aloud to men? <laughs> <laughs> I imagine some of them are. But I think a lot of those books are geared towards trying to understand men. Uh, I don't know why men don't buy relationships books as, as much, but they probably need to. So if you read this book, it, you make it sound like there is a, a good possibility that you'll have a better understanding of yourself, a better understanding of what you're looking for in a relationship, and maybe even how to navigate through the course of a relationship. Right. Uh, I'm trying to get the reader to develop their own process, much like if you were looking for a job, uh, employer would probably have some steps. Maybe there's a phone interview initially, and then afterwards uh, they'd pass that on to the hiring manager. They might talk to that person and then bring them in for a face-to-face -face interview. And what happens a lot when we meet people, we tend to go, number one, by chemistry, because there's an attraction there. And so we genuinely, we're not oftentimes our real selves. We're not authentic until maybe after the first argument or so. So what, what we need to do is kind of step back from that emotion and take more of a methodical approach to a relationship. Right. In fact, I say never separate your mind 
uh, from your heart when making relationship decisions because the purpose of the mind is to protect the heart. Well, so keep them together and, and just, I hate to use the words stay on guard, but it almost sounds like you just need to have your wits about you. Absolutely. You got to be realistic as well and you have your own set of deal breakers and so forth and just stay true to yourself. Uh, I often tell people if you go to the store to, to purchase an apple but buy an onion instead, whose fault is that? And do you curse the onion for not being an apple? The answer is no. You learn to become a better shopper. So it's just know what you want right? and don't compromise or don't settle. Not don't compromise. Thank you so much for being with us today, Kevin. It was a pleasure.